Welcome back to the channel as we got some game recaps here from the English Premier League and what can I say there were there was a game I was surprised that how it ended there was another game that you know it could have gone either way in my case and then two games that the winning teams needed to win and they did to help with the standings for the Premier League so Sunday January 23rd four games Let's get at her as the first game was Liverpool at Crystal Palace. And that game had pretty much everything. They had 15 shots for Liverpool, 8 for Crystal Palace. They There was only 7 corners combined, which was different to watch than a lot of other games. But there were 22 fouls, 12 to Crystal, Fa Crystal Palace and 10 to Liverpool. Liverpool also had a yellow card while Crystal Palace had four. So let's get in the goals here as Van Dijk scored in the 8th minute. Chamberlain scored in the 32nd minute for Liverpool to go up 2-0. Then Ed Dardo, sorry I probably said that wrong, scored in the 55th minute for Crystal Palace. Fabinho scored in the 89th to give Liverpool... 3-1 win. So let's go to the next game. It was Leicester City versus Brighton. And this game could have gone either way. 9th place versus 10th place in the standings. Leicester City outshot Brighton 15-14. There were 9 total corners. 14 total fouls. 1 yellow card. So let's get into it. As Daka scores for Leicester City 46 minutes into the game. And Danny Welbeck, the English player, ties the game in the 82nd minute to, for Brighton to give the game a 1-1. And that's ultimately where it ended. I That game could have gone either way, in my opinion. There was a lot of good plays. Goalies were in there the whole time. Defense actually played pretty well this game. And it was a big game for Leicester to try and move in closer to Brighton. But that didn't happen. But they'll be happy to take a point out of it. For sure. So then we go to the next game. This is the game that, you know, I was kind of surprised by. You got 6th place Arsenal versus 20th place Burnley. Okay? This game ended 0-0. There is no way Arsenal should have tied this game at all. This game should have been Arsenal's. But, you know, give it to Burnley because Arsenal shot them 20 to 10, out cornered them 12 to 4. There was a combined 22 fouls in this game as there were 13 to Burnley and 9 to Arsenal with two yellow cards going to Burnley. And honestly, this game was really, I wouldn't say boring, but it was slow. Uh, I. Arsenal couldn't get anything going and ultimately paid the price with a tie and falling back because of the Liverpool game. So let's go to the next game here. That is Chelsea at Tottenham. This is a big game for Chelsea seeing Liverpool just won earlier. Chelsea needed a win to keep pace with Man City and Liverpool keep that gap closed. Coming off of a tie in their last game this was huge and they didn't they didn't relax they went out got the three points in a two nothing victory the shots were 15 to 6 for Chelsea 10 to 3 in corners there were 31 fouls this game 17 fouls to Chelsea 14 to Tottenham two yellow cards to Chelsea and one to Tottenham Zayic and Silva are the goal scorers in the 47th minute and 55th minute for Chelsea. And this was a good game. This was a really good game by Chelsea. They played their hearts out. Probably could have had at least two more goals. But, you know, they still come out with the win. And that's all that matters at the end of the day is they come out for the win and keep that points in the standings close together but that's everything that is your game recaps 
of the English Premier League for January 23rd. And let's just go over. Monday, there's no games. Tuesday, no games. The next set of games aren't for a while bit because they got the qualifiers for the World Cup. I know Canada plays Thursday. I will be doing something on there. Uh, if you want to see a different team, let me know. You guys all stay safe out there in this world we're living in right now. And I hope you guys have a good one. Catch you later.